In a video I made some time ago, I covered the story of the so-called Honor Temples or Ehrentempel constructed by the Nazis in central Munich to house tombs of NSDAP members killed during the 1923 Beer Hall Putsch when Hitler forcibly tried to seize power in Bavaria. The buildings were captured by the US Army in April 1945 along with all the other important Nazi party offices and monuments in Munich, which was very much the birthplace of Nazism, and were demolished after the war. Today, only the two temples' ground levels remain, the sunken interiors where the tombs were once housed having been filled in, and both sites allowed to remain covered in vegetation in a symbolic rejection of what these buildings once stood for. I will be presenting a Beer Hall Putsch 100 year special in November, so stay tuned for that. But as well as memorialising the so-called 16 NSDAP martyrs at the Honor Temples, the Nazis also constructed a large public monument attached to the famous Feldherrnhalle, or Field Marshal's Hall, in the Odeonsplatz in central Munich. Close to where Hitler and his supporters march in 1923 was stopped by gunfire from the Munich police and the army. The Feldherrnhalle was constructed in 1841-44, when Germany didn't yet exist as a unified nation. Munich was then the capital of the Kingdom of Bavaria. The monumental building was constructed to honour two famous Bavarian field marshals and the wider Royal Bavarian Army in two wars, the Thirty Year War and the Napoleonic War. After the unification of Germany in 1871, Bavaria became one of several kingdoms making up the nation, and the Feldherrnhalle remained a focal point for Bavarian military remembrance. That was until the Nazis decided to hijack the monument for their own purposes, adding a large memorial to their fallen from the Beer Hall Putsch. It was erected on the Feldherrnhalle's east side, facing the street where the battle between the police and the Nazis actually took place in 1923. Designed by Nazi court architect Paul Ludwig Trust, it was put up on the 10th anniversary of the Putsch in 1933, and consisted of a large, rectangular bronze plate that listed the names of all 16 Nazis who died, surmounted by a bronze eagle and wreathed swastika. The back of the memorial facing into the Feldherrnhalle was inscribed, quote, and yet you triumphed, end quote, taken from a Hitler speech about the putsch. It was permanently bedecked in floral wreaths with swastika streamers and guarded 24 hours a day by a pair of sentries from the SS. This monument was not very popular among the local citizenry as anyone passing by it was required to give the Nazi salute. In order to avoid this, many used a small alleyway to bypass the east side of the Feldherrnhalle and the watchful SS, this thoroughfare inevitably being christened the Schurkers Lane. The Odeonsplatz and the Feldherrnhalle were used extensively by the Nazis, particularly by the SS for parades. Interestingly, directly beneath the Nazi memorial and affixed to the east wall of the Feldherrnhalle was a plaque honouring the four Munich policemen who were killed by the Nazis during the Putsch. They are now remembered by a new plaque inside the Feldherrnhalle itself. So what became of this most contentious of memorials? Well, the Nazi monuments survived the heavy Allied bombing raids on Munich and the ground fighting that resulted in the city's capture by the US Army in April 1945. The monument remained in place. The front of the Feldherrnhalle was defaced by a graffito which read Concentration Camps Dachau, Felden, Buchenwald. I am ashamed that I am a German. The Americans undertook the denazification of Munich and all the other cities that they had captured in Germany, along with all of the other Allied powers. And of course the monument was scheduled for destruction. However, it survived until June 1945, as it was very popular with US troops having their photographs taken beside it. However, on the 3rd of June 1945, locals apparently spontaneously smashed it to pieces. It was dragged down from its pedestal into the street and broken up.
In this photograph, you can see the broken memorial with the Nazi eagle torn off the top. The smashed eagle hung from one of the hooks that originally held large Nazi memorial wreaths. The memorial was then taken away and melted down, and the metal used to help restore the bomb-damaged Munich Residenz, the former royal palace of the Bavarian monarchs. As far as I know, no parts of this memorial exist today, all of it having been destroyed. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.